Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the OnePlus 12. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 800 bucks. But wait, if you pre-order now, January 23rd to February 5th, OnePlus will give you 100 bucks for any phone in any condition. I repeat, you can trade in any phone Okay, if you got some old school bullshit like this, any phone in any condition and save a hundred bucks, effectively dropping the price down to 700 bucks. And let me say this, for 700 bucks, OnePlus, welcome back. Now, if y'all watch my reviews, I was ready to write OnePlus off and I hate to eat my words, okay? I said OnePlus needs to stick to making phones like these. I right, these little mid-range phones, because if y'all remember the OnePlus 11, that won my award for the most underwhelming flagship phone of 2023. IP64, splash proof, only came in two colors. No 4K on the front facing camera, no wireless charge, no uh, IR blaster. That phone was just underwhelming. And y'all remember back in the days, OnePlus was known for flagship phones at mid-range prices. But then they started making money and they started selling mid-range phones at flagship prices. And nobody likes that. But with this phone right here, okay, welcome back OnePlus at 700 bucks. Okay, y'all know my scales. Between four and 700 bucks, I consider that mid-range pricing. Not a mid-range phone, just the pricing. 700 bucks, this is gonna be the mid-ranged priced phone of the year. Now before that, I was gonna give it to Realme, but if you think about it, the OnePlus has better cameras and a Quad HD display for $100 more. For 700 bucks, this is a total win. Let's go through the specs real quick. Now this one comes in two different colors. You got black and green. Now if you buy the Chinese version, you can also get it in white. For the display, you got a 6.82 inch LTPO AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1440 by 3168. Now that's 510 for the PPI Patrol. The phone is IP65 splash resistant. You got Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on the front with an aluminum frame and Gorilla Glass on the back. You got HDR10 Plus with Dolby Vision. You got 1600 nits brightness with a peak brightness of 4500 nits. And you got a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 with the Adreno 750 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now you got 12 or 16 gigs of RAM, 256 or 512 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 14 with Oxygen OS 14 skin on top. You got a 5,400 milliamp battery that features 100 watt fast charge. That means you could charge this phone from zero to 100% in 26 minutes. Now you also got 50 watt fast wireless charge. That means you could charge this phone wirelessly from zero to 100% in 55 minutes. Now think about that. You can charge this phone faster wirelessly than you can this phone wired. And this is a $1,300 phone versus 700 bucks. Let that sink in. Now you also got reverse wireless charge, also known as power share. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup with the Hasselblad lenses. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle, 64 megapixel telephoto, and a 48 megapixel ultra wide angle. Now you can shoot 8K video at 24 frames per second and 4K video at 60 frames per second. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel wide angle lens and you can shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second. Now you're getting dual stereo speakers. You got 24 bit high res audio. You got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, you got the classic alert slider, you got an IR blaster, and you got system clone, also known as thought protection. All of that for 700 bucks, this is a total win. Now, of course, if I wanna gripe, I will say there's no full IP68 dust and water resistance, and the front-facing camera shoots 4K30, not 4K60. But for 700 bucks, you can't complain. Let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. 
White shoes. I love my Calm down. Okay. One plus 12. Now, this is the classic red box. And judging by the size of the box, you know what's inside of there. Okay. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Okay. Got a little thank you note on the inside. Never settle. Again, welcome back OnePlus. Okay, I've been roasting them for the last couple of years, but after I got the OnePlus open, I kind of started coming back to the OnePlus family because if y'all watch my phone of the year review, okay, this is actually my favorite fold now. I was giving it to the Mix Fold 3, but low key, this is my favorite foldable device. So OnePlus, two for two now, okay? This is gonna be a big year. Let's see what you get inside, okay? Never settle. Okay, look at this. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I love a good presentation. The red and white theme. Oh, you got the classic OnePlus troll stickers. You got your membership card, SIM ejection tool. Okay, plug them and file them. You got a little OTG right there, USB Type-C. I love it. Okay, that's it for that. This is gonna be your device. Now, I believe the Chinese version does come with a case, but on the global version, okay, no case. Let me get and peel this off. Right. Okay, now this is the black. Let's get a little wipe down. Okay, there it is. Matter of fact, let's do the smell test. Mm! Smells like problems. Okay, 700 bucks. This is going to be a major problem for some of these other phone manufacturers. Let's see anything else in here. Let's get in, pull this little tab. Okay. <laughs> Now, I think we all know what I'm getting ready to say. You got your, this is gonna be USB-A to USB Type-C charging cable. And you got your fast charging brick in the box. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, you don't know what I'm getting ready to say, but if you've been here all month, let's all say it together. Samsung, Google, Apple, nothing, Sony, fucking Sony. Put the charger in the box. Now, one quick side note. People ask me, why do I say that about Sony? Sony got the balls to not even give you the charging cable. I mean, come on, that is complete trash. 700 bucks, look what you get. Now, I would like to have seen a case in here, but hey, it is what it is. This is the OnePlus 12. Now, I know somebody's gonna ask, isn't this just a clone version of the Oppo Find X7 Ultra? Well, they're pretty similar, but there's some key differences. First of all, the price. You're not gonna find this phone right here for cheaper than a thousand bucks, okay? And it's gonna go away from a thousand even higher. Now, with the OnePlus, you got Oxygen OS versus Color OS. Now that's pretty similar, nothing really to talk about with that. But battery life, arguably the OnePlus is better. You got a 5,400 milliamp battery versus 5,000. Even though they both charge zero to 100% in under 30 minutes, you got an extra 400 milliamps. Okay, so if you're a power user, you're gonna like that. But the biggest difference, okay, both of them have the Hasselblad setups, but the biggest difference is the cameras. On the Oppo Find X7 Ultra, you got the quad, 50 megapixel cameras on the back with the ridiculous sensors, okay? Arguably one of the best cameras on the market right now versus the triple camera setup. Now, if you're not a photographer and you're not heavy into photos, you're gonna like the photos from the OnePlus. This is over a thousand bucks versus 700 bucks. And there's one more thing. The OnePlus actually shoots 8K video at 24 frames per second. The maximum on this is 4K 60 frames per second. So it depends on what you need, okay? Not to mention, you know, a lot of y'all don't like the vegan leather back. The back of the OnePlus. Now, I gotta do a test real quick. This is my favorite feeling phone, okay? Y'all remember I said this one feels like silk panties? When I pulled the OnePlus 12 out of the box, bro, you're gonna get that same feeling. And shout out to my girl, she sent me some silk panties in the mail. I got them right here in my pocket. Hold on, let me pull them out real quick. I ain't gonna show them to y'all, but... <laughs> Let me sniff them real quick. Mm. Okay, hold up. Now, let me do a little feel test. Okay, two fingers. Bro, I'm telling you, if you like the way phones feel, okay, if you ever felt a pixel and you feel that satin finish on the back, this is exactly the same. This might be the closest I felt yet. You're gonna love this, okay? You're gonna love it. <laughs> 
anyway, let me, I know, let me pause the video, delete my browsing history, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, now, before I go through the settings and all that, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. Now, this is directly from OnePlus. Check this out. If you pre-order between January 23rd and February 5th, you can trade in any phone in any condition and get $100 off guaranteed. Also, get a free memory upgrade up to 512 gigs on us. Bro, 700 bucks for this phone in 512 gig storage version? Welcome back, OnePlus. Okay, welcome back. Let's give them a round of applause. Welcome back, OnePlus. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's talk about the build quality. Now, this phone is IP65 dust and splash resistant. So that means if you go out in the rain or it gets a little bit wet, you're good to go, but you don't want to drop this in the pool. You got the beautiful satin panty finish on the back. Okay, there's your camera setup. Okay, triple camera, LED flash. On one side, you got your power button, volume up and down. On the top, you got an IR blaster. Look, <laughs> when I did my Pixel review, I was like, all of these phones need to start bringing back IR blasters. And everybody was like, yo, bro, shut up about the IR blasters. Nobody's bringing them back out anymore. If you notice, okay, if you really think about it, I got to give you a visual. Every single phone that I reviewed this year, Okay, now I'm missing the Vivo IQ, I mean, I'm um, the uh, IQ 12 Pro, and I'm missing the Vivo X100 Pro. Every single one of these phones has an IR blaster. It's getting to the point now that this is the only phone without an IR blaster. Okay, like, it's not even about should you bring an IR blaster back or not. There's basically only a few Android phones that don't have them. And shout out to OnePlus for bringing the IR blaster back. I'm gonna show you how I use mine later in the video, but this is a clutch feature that should be on every phone. And I keep arguing with people back and forth, people talking about, oh, Samsung, they, they don't have it because of Samsung smart things. How is Samsung smart thing gonna help you when you're on the road traveling and you get to that hotel room and they got an LG TV? Yes, Samsung smart things ain't gonna help you. And it's not like Samsung doesn't know people travel. Half of the shit they advertising is AI for traveling and talking to people in other languages. So they know you're going to be on the road. Give us an IR blaster. Let us control all of our tech products. Nevertheless, I digress. On this side, you got the classic. The classic OnePlus alert slider. Now, that's one of the differences also between the Oppo. You remember on the alert slider, you got VIP mode. All right, there's no VIP mode on the OnePlus 12. Okay, now, if you don't know what VIP mode is, watch my Oppo video. That's a clutch feature, but this does have thought protection. Okay, system cloner. All right, so this side, classic alert slider. You see, I could drop it from, let's go ahead and open this up. I got it on ring right now. I could put it on vibrate or put it on solid. Now, people ask, why is that important? Think about it like this. You at a meeting, you at work, you somewhere where you're not supposed to be using your phone. All of a sudden, you're getting a phone call. You're starting getting messages. You know, you could go in your pocket, and the good thing is it has these ridges on it, so you can easily feel it. And once you get the hang of it and you know where your settings are, in your pocket, you can just put it on silent mode. Just like that. I love that. You get to the movie theater, click it up to silent. When you get back out, click it right back down the ring. Okay, on the bottom, there's your SIM tray. It does feature dual SIM slots. You got USB Type-C charging. There's your speaker grill, okay? Other speaker grill on the top. And that's pretty much it. The phone itself, it has a nice, hefty, premium feel to it. I gotta say it, feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. This right here, okay? Now, <clears throat> This is not a sponsored video. Let me just go ahead and throw that out there because it seems like I'm swinging on OnePlus nuts right now. This is not a sponsored video, but I like to show love and give accolades when they're due. And I like to hate when the haters do. I, I can't hate on this. For 700 bucks, you cannot hate on this phone. It is a beast. Now, if you flip it around, you do have, let me get a little wipe down. You do have always on display. Color OS and Oxygen OS, some of my favorite always on displays. All your notifications pop in. Now, one thing I could gripe about, I wish the notifications came in the actual colors of the icons, but it is what it is. 
Okay? So you can swipe up. You can put in your pattern and your pin. Next, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. Let's do three in a row. Okay, hold up. One, two, three. Of course, I got this little, uh, I want to call it a wart. Shout out to my girl, because I thought it was a cut. She was like, nah, bro, you got a wart. I got a little wart on the finger. You can also do it with the screen off, and it works flawlessly. And you got face unlock. Now, I'm not going to look at it. As soon as I look over, bang. OnePlus, Oppo, Realme, they make some of the best biometrics in the game. Same thing with our Xiaomi. You know, when I do my full review on the Galaxy, and anybody that has a Galaxy, do not try to lie and do not try to cap, as the young kids say these days. We all know the face unlock on the Galaxy, not the best. Let's get and see if I, look, look at this. Face doesn't match. Okay, there it is. Come on, bro. This is a $1,300 phone struggling with biometrics. Now, I got a lot to say about this phone. Snyder Cut incoming. Back to the OnePlus 12. The mid-ranged priced... Okay, let me say it correctly. The mid-ranged priced best flagship of the year so far. Easily. Easily. Swipe over. This is the global version. This is exactly why I didn't get the Chinese version. The global version. Now we got the Google on the homepage. You got Google Pay. You got Android Auto. Okay? And that's another thing. A lot of people say, okay, well, you could get the Vivo IQ. I mean, the, the IQ 12. You get the real me. You could get some of these shits. But if you live in the USA, okay? If you live in the USA, you got Verizon, you can't even look at none of those Chinese phones. Don't even think about it. Some people saying that they got this phone to work, the, uh, the Z60 Ultra on Verizon, but I wouldn't take a chance, okay? I wouldn't take a chance with my money. I'd rather buy something like this that's guaranteed to work on all your carriers, guaranteed to get 5G services, guaranteed to get updates, okay? You wanna go with something like OnePlus. Not to mention, OnePlus and the Pixel, these are the iPhones of Android. When it comes to smoothness, all right, if you got that one uh, banana head friend from back in the days that's always like, oh, I don't mess with Android phones, they be lagging. Let them use a OnePlus, okay? Let them use a Pixel or a OnePlus for a couple of minutes, and they're gonna see this is ex exactly how iPhones feel, but on Android. Okay, so there's your Google homepage. We'll do the quick toggles. Okay, now, <laughs> I got to talk about some other stuff, but I'll wait to the end of the video. You got all your quick toggles. So you got your Google Wallet. Like I said, you could use tap and pay. Okay, let's go to edit tiles. You got extra power saving mode. You got reverse wireless charge. Okay, you got your sister ball, kids mode, sound amplifier, Zen space. Okay, nearby share, Dolby Atmos, everything on deck. Let's go to settings. Now, I'm going to try to run through this, but not too fast, but not too slow. Okay, connections and sharing. VPNs, okay, deep private DNS, NFC, Android Auto. Now, that's the problem with a lot of these Chinese phones. You're not getting Android Auto, okay? Now, you're getting Android Auto with the global version, okay? You can also link to Windows, and you got screencast. Okay, now, for mobile network, dual SIM slots. <laughs> I'm so corny, yo. I'm so corny. I can laugh at my same corny joke for the la that I've been making for the last 10 years. Why Why am I so corny? All right, let's keep it moving. Wallpapers in style? Okay, so for wallpapers, you got your album. You got workshop where you can actually make your own wallpapers. Okay? It's pretty epic. Live wallpapers. You see this one's right here. This is what I'm using right now, but it does come in multiple colors. If you buy the green one plus, might as well rock out with the green. If you buy black, rock out with the black. Or if you get the Chinese version, rock out with the white. One more thing I wanted to mention, the Chinese version do, uh, does go up to one terabyte. Okay? These only go to 512. All right, so you got a bunch of different live wallpapers. I ain't going to go through all of them. But you notice on Color OS, you do have more. Okay? There's a lot of Oxygen OS fanboys. Me, personally, I'm a Color OS fanboy but oxygen os is just as smooth it's exactly the same just a few more few differences static wallpapers you see this this is it now this is exactly what i want to show you look because sometimes we need to talk about this kind of stuff let's go to settings i just want y'all to see so when you go to wallpapers and style right this is color os color os has way more wallpapers to choose from i mean it's just a lot more customizable 
So y'all, y'all oxygen OS fanboys, <laughs> and I need y'all to calm down. All right, so you got wallpapers. Let's go to always on display. Now you do have a plethora of always on displays. You got your Bitmoji, Canvas, custom palettes. You got text, text and image, and your emojis. <laughs> okay, you got your carbon footprint. I like this one. You got the earth. The earth. I said earth. E-A-R-F. We got the earth. It's earth. <laughs> you got the earth. You got this right here. This looks like some little uh, rainforest. And this one right here. I actually like this one. Let's kind of rock that one. But you do have Homeland. Okay, so of course you got the classic bears. Now these are animated. You got your little penguin. Uh, he feeling a little zesty. And you got your fish. Okay. Look, I like the penguin. Sometimes I'll be feeling a little zesty. I throw the penguin on it. Yeah, don't judge me, bro. All right, and that's how, let's see what else. You got Insight. Now, OnePlus is the first phone that had the Insight. Okay. You got the digital clocks, classic OnePlus styles. Okay, like for the digital clock, if you want to go throwback, you could throw back OnePlus. Or I remember the, the red, the red, uh, one red number and the rest white. That's classic throwback status. Okay, if you want. Okay, and you got images. This one that's actually animated also. You know, you could be better. <laughs> you, know what I'm you got the black hole, you know what I'm saying? You got some bubbles. All right, so that's it for that. That's always on displays. Now you can change your fonts, different sizes, okay? You can also change your icons. Now this phone also, before I go too far, now that I just noticed, this phone has the curved display. Now, we've been talking about that a lot on my channel, the difference between curved displays and these completely flat slab style phones. And this is why I love Android. Now, if you go out and buy an, you go out and buy an iPhone, iPhone, you only get in one size fits all. You got one choice with Android. And look, when you're watching a review, what I say, what I say don't mean nothing, okay? you When you're watching a review, you're just trying to get my opinion. So I'm giving you my humble opinion on the things that I like, but you got to like what you like. A lot of y'all are like me, and you like these slab phones, but a lot of y'all, y'all don't want the slab phone. Y'all think these curved displays feel, feel uh, a little bit more luxurious, and I can't argue with that because they actually do feel luxurious. But me, I got big fingers. I get a lot of accidental touches when I'm holding the phone in the bed sometimes. I'm trying to touch it, not realizing that I'm touching the top of the screen or the side of the screen. I'm, I'm just over them. But if you like them, don't listen to me. Buy what you like. Nevertheless, let's get back into the uh, review. Okay, so you can change the different uh, icons and the sizes. You can change the colors, different color palettes. Okay, you got coastal, alpine, and trendy. If you want to get a little trendy. Okay, you got quick settings. Uh, you can change the shapes. You see shoes keep walking by. She's waiting for me to touch her. That means it's playtime. I'm ignoring her on purpose, y'all. Okay, I'm not activating shoes. Because I know I'll be reading the comments. People will be like, yo, move your fucking cat. I I'm not touching her, okay? I'm not touching her. <laughs> but I'm not moving her either. Y'all banana heads can move yourself, yo. All right? Me and shoes, we the, we the dynamic duo. Okay, so that's your different uh, fingerprint animations. Now you do have a bunch of different ones. I know, I'll be rambling. Let me let me work, yo, let me work. You got Fireworks, Stripe, Ripple. I've been trying to make these reviews a little bit more less, uh, let me say it like this. I try to make these reviews less like you sitting in a class. Like I'm really just having a good time talking to y'all. You got Edge Lighting. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and rock that red. That looks nice. Okay, you can change your display size. <laughs> okay, I got it on standard, but after the video, I'm putting it on large because I'm a blind bastard. All right, let's see. Let's go to home screen and lock, uh, lock screen. Home, nothing to see here. Raise to awake. Okay, you see you can prevent mistouches. Okay, pocket and mistouch prevention. You see I got that on. System navigation. You can have the three buttons if you want. You can actually change the sensitivity to your back gesture. You can put it in simple mode if you... <laughs> If you're a dinosaur, let's go to display and brightness. Now, remember, you got to remember the difference between peak brightness and sustained brightness. Everybody hears 4,500 nits like, oh, this phone is super bright. You're not going to be walking around with your phone on 4,500 nits. OK, it's going to be at 1600 nits. That's the peak brightness. I mean, that's the sustained brightness, the peak brightness. Maybe for a couple of seconds here and there in direct sunlight, it can achieve 4,500 nits in a few pixels, but that's a whole nother discussion, okay? But the bottom line is, even if you don't know nothing about nits and all of that, just know that this phone is mad bright. Let's just say it's mad bright, okay? This phone is mad bright. You do have screen colors, you got natural pro, okay? If you want to use your D65 color temperature. Matter of fact, you know I like mine's nice and cool. Oh, I almost touched shoes. <laughs> I almost touched it. You got true tone display if you want. 
You can change your font display size, image sharpener. Let's get and turn that on. Okay, sharpen up your images. You got video color boost. Okay, it gives you a little demo. You might as well get it, you know, nice and boosted. Why not? Screen resolution. Now you got auto select. Okay, but you can, if you want to, you can put it to 1080 or leave it on Quad HD. Okay, now I'm going to leave mine on Quad HD for 700 bucks with this ridiculous battery. Enjoy that screen. Enjoy it. Refresh rate. Okay, now if you want to, you can have auto select, but I'm gonna just go ahead and stick mines to high, and you have app specific refresh rate. App specific refresh rate. I know I tongue I, I tongue twisted myself saying that yesterday, and now when I got to this part of the video, in my mind I was like, please say it right, and of course I said it wrong. <laughs> you know that that's how it goes, yeah. But if you want to, you got app specific refresh rates. So certain apps you could force it to be in a specific refresh rate if that makes sense to y'all. All right, so we got sounds and vibrations. Let's go ahead and activate these. As a matter of fact, let's hit that. Let's see, okay. Dual stereo speakers, nice and loud. Okay, more sounds. Okay, we already see those. Spatial audio, check this out. Matter of fact, before we do that, you got Dolby Atmos, so if you plug in some headphones, remember, you're getting 24-bit high-res audio. So when you plug in your headphones, if you like me and you like using wired headphones when you're on that flight and you want the crispy sound, you got that Dolby Atmos. You got spatial audio, okay? So this is fixed. You can turn it off or you can do head tracking. I like fixed though, it's like right in your mouth. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> you got the O haptics, okay? Now I like to have mines on maximum intensity, but this phone has excellent haptics, so you're gonna feel those vibrations. Yeah? Now you see, now this is what I'm saying, like at any moment, put the phone on vibrate while you're in the middle of a conversation, somebody talking to you, you see how fast that was? I just put it on vibrate. Okay, let's go to more. Get a volume button function, okay, nothing to really see there. Okay, so let's go to Notification bar, anything we need to look at? Nope. Let's go to uh, apps. Okay, you got your app cloner. Okay, so you can have your two Facebooks. <laughs> if you want to be on scumbag mode. You got a lot of stuff to play with. Let's go to security and privacy. Okay, so you got face unlock. Okay, you got fingerprint sensor. You do have smart lock. Okay, there's your private safe. Okay, for all your scumbag photos. And system cloner. System cloner is thought protection. What does that mean? You see right now, I could just go to Facebook and rock out. But if I close the phone, and instead of using my thumb, I use my finger, you see it's gonna switch to my system clone. Now, since I haven't done it in a while, I have to put my password in, but this is my system clone. So now if you swipe up, I don't even have Facebook installed. So I can leave my phone on the table just like this. If somebody picks it up, say, oh, let me go to his Instagram. Damn, he don't even have Instagram. He don't have Facebook. He don't have nothing. Okay. He one of them dudes. Okay. Keep it moving. When I come back, I pick up the phone. Now we use the thumb. And then bang. Right back to my Facebook and all of my apps. Now, without the password, I'll do it one more time. Just so you see how fast it switches. Look at that. No apps, okay? Give the phone to your little kid, let him go crazy. When they give it back to you, just come through with the fingerprint and you write back in. That is pretty dope, okay? Let's see, that's under security. Okay, so you got uh, location, nothing to see there, safety and emergency, okay? Wireless alerts. You got battery. Now, 5,400 milliamp battery. I use this phone for a couple of days. The battery life is excellent. And that's one of the things that I love about the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3. Every one of these phones that I reviewed this year, they all have great battery, including the Galaxy, okay? Battery life is great. But 5,400 milliamps, this is what I wanna see, okay? Not 5,000, not 4,800. I wanna see over 5,000 going forward. So shout out to OnePlus for pushing that envelope, giving us a bigger battery than you get in your Galaxy and faster charging. Samsung, what the fuck? All right, let's keep it moving. Let's see, you got, <laughs> you got special features. You got split view, floating windows, quick return, quick launch, smart sidebar. Okay, let's see, make sure my, okay, it's on, yep. My sidebar in the top, 
There it is. And that's one of the things about curved displays. You're going to get to that smart sidebar even quicker. I can do a quick screenshot. There it is. If I want to, I do screen record. Okay. I can add more apps. I'll go crazy. Okay. This is the smart sidebar. You got kids mode and simple mode and Zen mode. Okay. Let's see anything else. Uh, digital well-being. Monitor your scumbag activities. Additional settings, you got accessibility if you're hearing or visually impaired, everything's on deck. You got the assistive ball if you got small hands, you get that little on screen ball, you can control the phone without having to reach all over the place. <laughs> okay, you got screenshot, screen recording, OTGs. Okay, let's see. Um, users, uh, okay, that's pretty much it. Let's go to let's go to about. Okay, so this is the big boy 512 gigs. Okay. 16 gigs of RAM, whoo, 32 on the front, 50, 48, 64, okay? This is a great phone. That's pretty much it, nothing, really, nothing else to really see with the settings. Now, it's running Android 14, so you see I got all my Android 14 widgets, and again, this phone right here, this is an iPhone on Android. No lag, no stutter, no hiccups, super fast, 120 hertz refresh rate. You can actually change this, you see my transitions, okay? I could do card, tilt, flip, cube. We got roll. Oh, roll looks kind of cool. Let's go ahead and leave it on roll. Okay, so look, you see you roll the apps. And no lag when you roll inside to side. Let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Opening web Let's see what these Apple peasants is up to, okay? You see Apple out here shafting folks for this Vision Pro. Now, everybody keeps asking me, am I buying the Vision Pro? I'm not trying to get shafted. This is the universal symbol for getting shafted. I'm not getting shafted. But this is the full website. Look how smooth this is. You know, and even from back in the days, I, I keep telling y'all, certain phones have a certain feeling to them. If you never use the Pixel Okay, all OnePlus phone, you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you use a Galaxy right now and then you come back and use a One phone, uh, OnePlus, it has a different feel to it. The OnePlus feel, and this is kind of why the curved displays, I get why people like them. You have this luxurious feel and then when the phone is running this smooth, it's just a beautiful experience. Okay, you see I got all my apps. Look, these are all my apps I had open all day. Look at that. We could go ahead and do floating window. So I can have this on the side, push it, open up Facebook. Then I can come back, okay, open this back up, just like that. If I want to, I could do a little split screen multitasking. Okay, so I got Apple on the top. I mean, Apple Apple on the, on the top. Facebook on the bot, bottom, switch sides. Now we got Apple on the bottom, Facebook on the top. Keep it moving just like that. Excellent web browsing speeds. All right, so now let's test out the dual stereo speakers. Of course, I got the official Floss Recorder sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, type of sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, type of sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's a bass, baby? How's a treble on? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit? God damn it, hella. A nice amount of bass. Look, I'm covering up the bottom completely. This is just the top. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier, the speakers on the OnePlus 12. Bass heavy, okay, now a surprising amount of bass. So if you like to listen to music from your phone, you're gonna like the speakers on this. And one quick side note, 
I hear a lot of people were saying that the speakers on the Z60 Ultra are trash, and I wouldn't call them trash, but when you play them side by side with the OnePlus, yeah, they're definitely not the best, okay? OnePlus speakers, way better. All right, so now let's take a look at this big, bright, beautiful 6.82 inch LTPO AMOLED panel. Check this out. Now we're gonna go full screen, basically bezel-less, Excellent, and I mean excellent viewing angles. Look at this. This is what you're getting for 700 bucks in 2024. I love it, let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little gaming. Of course, I got Asphalt 9 queued up. Here we go. Snapdragon 8, Generation 3. You already know what to expect. Okay, here we go. Now I'm on a new level right here. Okay. Somebody got the Nissan Z. Okay, let's get it. I never did this level yet, y'all. Or did I? Oh, okay. I gotta have to drift the I gotta drift the build up. Oh, okay. Woo! Get out of here, bro. Let me get a little drift right there. Oh, there it is. Uh. Let me style out a little. Look, I'm out. Woo! Y'all like that. This game is actually fun. Low key. Let me just get it and style out one more time. There it is. Okay, now let me uh, turn the volume down. Excellent speakers on this phone, but as you can see for yourself, gaming on the OnePlus 12. Excellent. Now, one more thing I wanted to mention with gaming, if you swipe down, you get a little game suite, okay? So you can see your actual frames per second. You can change to low power mode, balance mode, or pro gamer mode. You can control your music, your brightness. Okay, you got call blocker, screenshot, screen recording. Basically a nice little game setup suite. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. Now that's the biggest difference between this and the Oppo Find X7 Ultra, the quad camera setup, okay, versus the triple camera setup. Now of course, the Oppo Find X7 Ultra has better cameras, but is it really $300 better? <laughs> you know, you gotta make that choice. Now if you're not a full-fledged photographer, social media influencer, content creator, you know, digital scumbag. If you just take regular photos, you see your cat sitting on the table and you wanna take a little photo. If you take photos like this, or you wanna be that douchebag in the gym taking photos like me, okay? Look at that arm right there. They don't act like y'all don't see it. These cameras right here, you're gonna love them, okay? Let's go through the uh, basic shooting modes. You got the Hasselblad Master Mode, okay? That's Pro Mode, same that you're gonna find on the Oppo. You got Auto or Pro Mode. If you put it on pro, change your white balance, your shutter speed, go crazy. You got video. Now video, you can do wide angle all the way up to 18 times zoom, okay? You can shoot 8K at 24 frames per second or 4K at 60 frames per second. Now this is what I wanna show you, watch this. Let's go ahead and pull up the Oppo. Let me open this up. Okay, you see on the Oppo, if you go to camera and you go to video, look at this. There's no 8K video. So, if you're that content creator and you're shooting MKBHD quality videos, you might want the 8K. Now, if you're shooting Flossy Carter quality videos, just go ahead and put it on 720, okay, 30 frames per second to keep it moving. But you do got options. For photos, also, I gotta mention, on the front-facing camera, you got 4K 30 frames per second. Now, with the Oppo, you got 4K 60 frames per second. So, keep that in mind. Now for regular photos, you see you got the orange Hasselblad button, okay? You got wide angle all the way up to, check this out, we zoom in, we zoom in, 120 times scumbag zoom. And ladies and gentlemen, I went outside and did the zoom test and this one passed with flying colors. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. You got portrait mode, 
Okay, you got one, two, three different portrait lengths, uh, focal lengths. Now let me just get this, just get an um, since we here, let's pull out the oppo. Okay, you see the portrait mode. You got a few more portrait uh, focal lengths. You see, you got three. Okay, versus. Uh, five, one, two, three, five, yo, eyes a lot more on the Oppo. So again, the theme is the Oppo has better cameras, but for three hundred dollars more, bro, I, I I wouldn't do it. You got portrait mode and you got more. So you got night, you got high res, panorama, movie, slow motion. Okay, now if you do slow motion, you could do <laughs> you could do 1080p at 480 or 24 frames per second. Okay, that's the slow motion. You got a uh, uh, time lapse, long exposure, dual video, front and back. You got tech scanner, tilt shift, and X pan. Now watch this. This is what I want to show you. Let me let me go to photos. Okay, let me show you the zoom test. Okay, let me just go ahead and pull these up. Okay, just found it. This is the zoom test. Now, whenever I get a phone that has a hundred times zoom or eighty times zoom, some ridiculous zoom, here's how I test it. You see, I'm all the way down the block from this school. My uh, my uh, goal is to zoom in on that sign, okay? So from all the way back here, I want to zoom in on that sign and see if I can read it. And look at the sign, okay? That's how it looks. Now, just for contrast, let's go ahead and pull up the Xiaomi. I want to show, you know, we're here. Let me just pull that up real quick. I'm not even going to edit. I'm going to just do this in real time. Matter of fact, I will edit. Hold up. All right, so just for comparison, here's the Xiaomi 14 Pro. You see the difference? This is that same zoom test versus the OnePlus 12. I would say the OnePlus 12 looks better. Definitely. Now, one more side note. This is what I was talking about. You see on the always on display, the notifications that come in the actual color uh, and um, icon of the app. I love that. With the OnePlus, the color OS and oxygen OS on your always on display, all of the icons are gonna be white. Okay, that's the one thing I wanted to mention. All right, but you see, here's the zoom test. Passed with flying colors. Now, take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself.
Now let's talk about one of my favorite features and shout out to OnePlus for keeping it alive, the IR Blaster. Now everybody thinks IR Blasters only control TVs. That's not the case. You got TVs, of course, all your TVs, but you got your cable boxes, okay? You got your DVD players, your projectors, your fans, your heaters, your water heaters, okay? Your robot vacuum cleaner. All of these different tech products, you can use your phone as a remote control. Now here's how I use mines. All right, so I'm sitting up in the office. I just finished working. Now I wanna turn off all of my TVs using one phone. Okay, so let's start off with the Samsung TVs. Just like that. Another one, just like that. Now we'll switch over to LG TV. Press the button, just like that. And now let's switch over to Sony TV. Press the button, just like that. The IR Blaster is so clutch for me. This is a major go. All right, so I'm not gonna waste your time going through System Clone. We already did that, that's your thought protection. Now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you just spent 700 bucks on a phone. Let's see how it works in the real world. I'm calling this a flagship phone at mid-range prices. Now this phone does have 50 watt fast wireless charge. Now OnePlus is coming out with the wireless charger. I'll make a separate video on that later. Let's see the charging animation. Okay, nice and bright, vibrant, and colorful. Let's see the plug-in animation. Okay, same thing. Would you see the actual battery percentage? I love it. Okay, RDA, regular daily activities. Now this phone, okay, the thing I like about phones like this, Samsung, pay attention. If you got a phone that you could fully charge from zero to 100% in 26 minutes, why plug it in at night? Why put it on your wireless charger at night? Why do that? Sleep with it in the bed, play around on Instagram and Twitter all night till you fall asleep with the phone right under your neck. When you wake up in the morning and your battery's on 30%, 20%, Go like this, you plug it in, you go take a shit, shower, and shave. Okay, now depending on what you ate for dinner, <laughs> the order might be different, but it's not gonna be longer than 30 minutes. By the time you finish doing that and you get dressed and you're ready to walk out the door and you pull your phone off that charger, it's gonna be at 100%, guaranteed, okay? I love that. Next, you got your always on display. There's your time, date, battery percentage all of these notifications. Now, when you lift up the phone, you don't gotta use the fingerprint sensor. You got the face unlocked, and you don't have to press any buttons. All you gotta do is lift it up and look at it, just like that. Now, I'm gonna act like I'm reaching for my fingerprint sensor. Before I even get to the fingerprint sensor, it already opened. That's how biometrics are supposed to work, Samsung, okay? It's supposed to work like that, Google. By the time you even reach into your fingerprint, it should be open already. That's the convenience of face unlock. Now, the first thing I like to do, swipe over. Let's see what's going down on Google. Matter of fact, before I even do that, I gotta see how my day is gonna be. So let me check the weather. All right, it's 32 degrees. Now this is transparent weather. You hear the crickets? I love this app, okay? Now let's see, we got the hourly forecast. Okay, looks like a beautiful sunny day. Okay, let's see, tomorrow. Oh, matter of fact, oh look, I'm lying. It's gonna rain tomorrow. But we got some nice temperatures coming up, okay? Back into the 50s, I love that. Let's uh, swipe over. Here's how I get my news. You got the search bar at the top if you want. But we got, I'll uh, see, Sonic Fox versus Rewind in Mortal Kombat 11. Now, I mean, actually, Mortal Kombat 1. Okay, shout out to my man, Jay-Z's bottom lip. I, I, we got something special cooking up right now. All right, so we got the DJI Ronin 4D 8K camera. You see, if you want that MKBHD quality, you're gonna have to get the Ronin camera. I love it. Let's see. Why do I keep saying I love it? I like it. I don't love everything. I like it. <laughs> okay. Why I still love the OnePlus 11 one year later digital trends. Let's see what digital trends is online capping about. Let's see. What do they like about it? Because this is pure cap. Despite the upgrade. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. It wasn't a trash device, but huh, 6.7 inch. All right. So this phone is actually bigger. Okay, yeah, it's more affordable, but I mean, no wireless charge, no 4K video on the front-facing camera, no IR blaster. Come on, bro. 
Stop it, Digital Trends. Y'all know I rock with y'all, but stop it. Look, you see, Vivo X100 Pro, 825 bucks. We can't call that a mid-range phone. That is a flagship. 825 bucks, that's a flagship. A 100, yo, look at this. A OnePlus 11 for 779 bucks? Are you fucking kidding me? When you could get the new one right now for 700? Whoever's eBay listing is it, this is, y'all gonna have to take that off. Let's click on, let's, let's see what they talking about. Let's go to shopping. Let's see what's on deck. Okay, so we got a Pixel 8 Pro for 1,000. You see what I'm saying? Like the prices of these phones, man. When you see a Galaxy for zero, <laughs> that means you lock it into the 10 year contract, bro. Don't do it to yourself. Okay, you'll love the OnePlus 12 camera upgrades. Yes, you will. Shout out to Droid Life. Yes, you will. Okay, OnePlus teams up with Genshin Impact for exclusive Kenjing smartphone. Kenjing? <laughs> Q King, I just made it right. Yo, y'all anime cats, don't be coming for my neck, yo. I don't know it. Pause. I don't know the, the anime. All right, so let's see. Lenovo, okay. Leather phone cases. OnePlus still missing uh, Android 14 as January update rolls out. Ooh, you see, that is kind of true, bro. Come on, OnePlus. The open, this is my favorite phone, but come on, we need that Android 14. Let's get to it. Okay, let me see something. Matter of fact, let me, let me just make sure I ain't just. Hop. You see, sometimes you know you you could actually hop on the bandwagon. Somebody say some shit online. You could just hop on the bandwagon real quick. <laughs> okay, just to make sure something. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm still running the Android 3. I was about to say, I just hop on the bandwagon. Okay, so that's how your Google homepage is going to look. If you see, if I click on a video, go straight to that video. If I click on the YouTube, straight to YouTube, exit out. We got the YouTube picture and picture. Okay, exit out of that. Next, let's do a little work. You see, I got my little <laughs> animations. All right, so let's take it over to, all right, this is how you know you, you're getting old when you're getting, <laughs> you're getting messages from J.G. Wentworth. Remember that commercial? Call 1-800, what is it, 1-800-77-CASH-NOW. <laughs> 777-CASH-NOW. I want my cash now. See, she was be trying to knock the phone out of my hand. Calm down, let me type. Cash now, bro. Let me get my cash now. All right, that's how you do it. And at any moment, since I got to come back to work, we'll do floating window and we push it to the side. You see, now I, I'm, I'm trying not to press the white shoes button. I'm going to just let her do her thing. All right, so that's my uh, work segment of the day. Now, if I want to go to Twitter, we'll take it over to Twitter. But at any moment, I can come back and check my Gmails. Okay, like make sure nothing popping. Break off. All right, let's go to, there's a lot of Samsung Galaxy stuff going on. Let's go to my mentions. Okay, shout out to my man Technically T. I, uh, you know what I'm saying? Let's see what he's talking about. Cause we supposed to do a stream together. Y'all know that's gonna get ugly. Let's see, no way I just got an email. Uh, we already seen that one. That was January 12th? Bro, we already seen that one. They send him an email thinking it's me. Okay, okay, let's see. Flossy Guard, just follow your YouTube. Content is nice and knowledgeable. Let's get in like that. I, re I appreciate this. You know, let's get in reply to that. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. B-R-U-H, all right, thanks, bro. You know, I like that. Okay. Waiting for Flossy Carter Word and the Galaxy S24 Ultra 5 Gangster. I'm thinking titanium orange. I ordered the titanium yellow. Okay, now, quick spoiler alert. I'm doing my review once I get my retail version on January 31st. Because, you know, whenever I get these review units, they be having a few bugs and a few hiccups. And I don't want to just get online talking shit. You know what I'm saying? With a review unit. And not to mention, if I say I don't like something, I want y'all to know that I don't like it as much as you don't like it. As much as you spent your money, I spent my money too. Okay? Because right now, when you get something for free and you be like, oh, I don't like that. Some of y'all be like, man, shut the fuck up. You got it for free. Who cares, yo? I just should be quiet. Yo. You got it for free. But when I spend my money on something and I make my video, if I say I don't like something, you can feel it. Right, you can feel it. All right, so I, I ordered the titanium yellow. Okay, everybody waiting for that S24 review? Okay, let's see anything else. Um, great unboxing on the Oppo, appreciate that. Okay, so this is how your, your Twitter's gonna look. Okay, let's see. Um, there was something spicy the other day on Twitter. Let's see if I can find it. Somebody was talking some real some, some real spiciness. I was getting ready to flame them in my video. All uh, right, you know what? Let's, let's, let's not even give them no free clout. All right, so that's the, you know what I'm saying? That's the end of Twitter. And again, at any moment, press that side button. Right back to J.G. Wentworth. Do some more work emails. Okay, let's get him float that and keep it pushing. Keep it to the side. Now, if I want to, I could also do Facebook. We could float that too and push that to the side and have both of them. Okay, now we could do 
full screen on Facebook. Let's see what's going down on Facebook. Okay, bump box. Okay, people I may know. Whenever it says people I may know, it's somebody I don't know or somebody I'm ducking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look at Samsung. Look at Samsung with the little circle. You know, that that, that feature is kind of sick. It is kind of sick. That feature is kind of sick. Okay, Jamila. All right. <laughs> yeah, look at the dog. Yeah, look at the dog. Okay, we got on box therapy out here. You know what I'm saying? Out here slinging some merch. <laughs> slinging. Okay. Got jazz out here. Look, we got you got your boy Floss out here. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all get. Why do I? I got to like my own shit, yo. I got 74 comments. I never even read them. I might have to read the comments on that one of these days. Okay, but here's how your uh, Facebook is going to look. Oh, what is that? A moving photo? Oh, that's oh move the phone. Oh, that's pretty dope. I forgot about those. All right, anyway, this is Facebook. Okay, <laughs> Ice Mag got one of those coming soon. You know what I mean? Okay, look at look, look at look at this look at this look at this this dude right. This is my dude from back in the days. Yeah, this dude right. <laughs> That's how you know you're getting old. Because old people be having the phone up mad close. Like, bro, you gotta move the phone back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Fucking jump scaring folks out here, yo. I ain't trying to get jump scared, yo. All right, so anyway, let's see what's going down. Okay. Let me show. Anyway, so that's how Facebook's going to look. Let's keep it moving. Let's take it over to the infamous TikTok. Okay, now for TikTok, we got to lower the volume. Now, also, if y'all see scr the scratches on the phone, it's not scratches. It's cat hairs. Once I wipe them down, the phone is brand new. Okay, so we got the Samsung Ring, yo. We're going to get into that. The Sweet Science. I had the sweet science of somebody getting rocked. Who that? Hanley? Oh no, that's how I'm okay. Oh, Colbert. Okay, he nice. What I would look like in the 30s. I'm seeing a lot of people doing this. <sighs> okay. They, they look about the same, yeah. All right. So this is how TikTok is gonna look. It's, oh, hold on, we got a slap. <laughs> oh! Sorry, shoes. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up! Can he get up from that? Seven. He's getting up. He's getting up. Come on, man. He's getting up. Nine. Whoa. Wow. He's good. Whoa. Look at Whoa. He's up. Oh, my goodness. Let's see what Kerry Hatley's going to say here. Jesus, Harry Truman Christ. I'm going to go this way for Okay, we got to give him a little gate test. Watch the edge. Watch the edge. He's not doing good. Okay. No, he's done. Let's see if they're going to let him go here. You got to check the gate, yo. That was massive. That was huge. What? It's like a good gunshot. Right, These are actual athletes. He said it's like a gunshot if you hear it in person. Look at that. Bro. I don't care what sport this is. Somebody slapped me like that, bro. I'm taking I'm we taking it to the streets after that. Alright, anyway. This is my man Tight Shirt Terry. I look at look look at Tight Shirt Terry up in the gym. Try to be like me. You know, up in the gym. Okay. <laughs> That's my guy though. Alright, we got the prototype. Oh, uh, what's that? You take now. That's some shit I would have did back in the days. I would have taped the screen, but okay, we got this. Oh, okay, AR glasses. Anyway, so this is how your TikTok is gonna look. This is another thing. This, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You see how when you buy a Rolex, you see that presentation right there. This is what companies like Samsung and Apple don't understand. When you spend your money on a product, you you don't just want the box and a cable. You know what I'm saying? And a and a and a and a happy new year card. No, you you want you want this, yeah. Okay, this is the you want to be presented when you spend your money. And shout out to OnePlus, because that was a dope presentation, yeah. Even with the little red and white and the little stickers and all that, it might not really mean nothing, but you go you you feel it, yeah. And I like to feel that kind of shit, yeah. All right, my man Mark. I hate doing a little, little you know, the, the little press the circle, Google. All right, anyway. Let me speed this up because I, I still got something I want to talk to y'all about at the end of the video. All right, so this is uh, this is uh, oh look at that. Now that's pretty sick. That is pretty sick. Yo. I'm getting one of those immediately. The flex note. I need that. I need that just for fronting purposes. Anyway, that's TikTok. Let's take it over to Instagram. Now this is what, this is what we're gonna have to talk. All right, let's take it over to Instagram. Y'all seen this guy right here? What a what a scoundrel. I don't even want to see that. I don't even read that shit. Okay, we got J Cole. Okay, we got my man, 6.2, Fat Boy the Savage, with his slow-ass Mopar. You know what I'm saying? Well, okay, we got Card Magic by Jason. This guy's a wizard. All right, if y'all want to see some real wizardry, follow this card 
this card trick page, bro, I don't even know. How, like, some of these tricks are going to really blow your mind. I look, this is my favorite cat right there. The huh? That cat that in the back that be like, huh? <laughs> I, I notice I've been saying that a lot. People say some shit to me, I'll be like, huh? If you hear me say that, I'm thinking about that cat right there. Okay, loose cannon insinuates uh, Big U played a role in the setup for Nipsey Hussle's murder. Uh, you know, Whack 100, he's like an old, he like old lady gossip. We call him a chatty patty. Uh. We do a lot of talking, man. I mean, I understand when you do a podcast, you got to talk a lot, but there's a lot of gossiping. I don't like the gossipy, gossipy stuff. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Where's, where's, where's he at? They don't got the honk cat in there? They go, but my God, this is my second favorite cat, the driver right here. <laughs> That's my second favorite online cat. On, oh, like, there it is. Huh? <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> and the hitting cat, I like him too, but hold up. <laughs> where's he at? <laughs> Hold up. Huh? <laughs> that's, oh, that's so stupid. Yep. That's my homegirl, Kimmy. All right. Anyway, so here's how your Instagram is going to look. Now, before I get out of here, before I, oh, like, this is my guy right here. You know, we, we, I'm going to have to show y'all. You see, I posted something on Instagram that's catching a lot of drama. We're going to talk about that post in a minute. As a matter of fact, we'll talk about that at the end of the video. So if you don't care about that, I ain't going to force you to listen to it. So anyway, so here's how your Instagram is going to look. We got to check. Um, We got to do the Calvin test. Let's, 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 let's scroll. Let's scroll. Let's go. Matter of fact, let's go to search. All right, we'll, we'll see what's going down. We'll do the Calvin test. All right, Calvin. All right, the pinch to zoom works on Android. And that's about it. Oh, matter of fact, we got to check also. Let's see if we can do split screen multitasking. Ooh, look at that. No split screen Instagram. You see, you can split screen TikTok, but no split screen Instagram. Mm, let's try. Let's try one more thing. We'll do split screen. Let's see if we can open it. Nope. No split screen. Mm, now, you see a lot of phones that I review. You can split screen Instagram. And a lot of y'all cats that got short attention spans, you want to have TikTok. Okay, and Instagram stories. You want to have fucking double dose of stories at the same time? You can't do it on this. Let me see something real quick. Let's take it over to the, let's take it over to the, I say Oppo, but I hear some people say Oppo. Let's go to, let, hold on, let me, let's go to Oppo real quick. Hold up. Let me, um. okay, let's, let's go to, let's see if we can split screen multitask on the Oppo. Nope, not on the Oppo either. Okay, now let's see real quick. Let's take it over to, you said, this is the kind of stuff you got to check. Yeah? This is the kind of stuff you got to check. All right, so we go to the Galaxy phone. Let's see if we could do split screen on the Galaxy. Okay, we'll do uh, YouTube on the bottom. Look at that. Split screen on the Galaxy, bro. Split screen on the Galaxy. Split screen on the Galaxy alert. All right, let me, let me calm down. Let me calm down. But anyway, RDA, regular daily activities. Let's get it. Matter of fact, I'll just say it like this. If you buy this phone and if you buy that, if you buy this phone right now with the pre-order deal and you get a hundred dollars off and you spend 700 bucks and you get the 512 gig version, congratulations. You win, you know, you win in that life. OK, because you spent 700 bucks for 512 gigs. Then you got banana heads like me that spent 1500 bucks. Okay, for the yellow galaxy, that's literally double the price. Literally double the price. Think about it. You could buy this phone for 700 bucks instead of buying a Galaxy or the Oppo, or Oppo, instead of buying a Vivo. You could buy this phone for 700 bucks, go out and get yourself a nice smartwatch and a nice set of earbuds. You could do it big. Okay, now I'm going to keep saying this. I'm going to keep saying this. You don't have to spend a thousand bucks in this day and age to do a, a flagship phone. All right, to get it. Let me say it correctly. You don't have to spend a thousand bucks to get a flagship phone. I said do a flagship. <laughs> well, you can do a flagship phone too. Shout out to OnePlus, okay? OnePlus is back on the scene. The OnePlus 12 on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm giving this phone a major, major, major go. IP68 would have been nice. 4K 60 frames on the front would have been nice. Other than that, as is for what you're getting, I cannot complain. OnePlus is back. The OnePlus Open, okay? This phone right here, bro. This is this is my favorite foldable right now. We just you know we just need to see that uh Android 14. 
But if you're looking for a OnePlus phone, you got two dope choices right here. Okay, OnePlus is no longer relegated, in my opinion, to making mid-range and budget peasant phones. Now we got a true flagship and a true fold. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up. All right, so the video's officially over, but instead of doing my usual outro, I'm gonna hit y'all with story time with Uncle Floss. Now, I promise y'all when I do some of these long reviews, since I already got y'all sitting here for all this time, at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell y'all a story if something happened to be interesting during the day or during the week or during the month. Well, today just happened to be one of those days that something really interesting happened, and I wanna tell y'all what happened. Now, if you go to my Instagram, we've been having a lot of jokes, but let me tell y'all the full story of what happened. Now, today is Monday. So I woke up Monday morning at nine o'clock. Now, I gotta give y'all a full backstory. My pops is 80 years old, okay? Now, on New Year's Day, he went to the hospital. He had some heart problems, you know, and when you have heart problems, it tends to make your body retain a lot of water. So his hands was all puffy and swollen. His feet was kind of swollen. He had some neck pains, a little difficulty breathing. Now, I'm chilling on New Year's. I'm drinking. I'm having a good time. He's such an OG soldier that he don't want no pity from nobody. So he didn't even tell me that he was going to the hospital. He just went and checked himself into the hospital. And he ended up staying there for 10 days, okay, from New Year's Day for 10 days. So he only been home for a little over a week. But his hands are still kind of puffy, but mentally he's, he's in good spirits. He's back outside walking around like he's getting back up there, but he can't drive because his hands are a little bit puffy and swollen. So me, I'm the number one son. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. I'm, you know, it's the kind of guy that I am. I said, Pops, you know, if you got to make some, you know, runs or you got to do some errands, don't worry. I, I got you. I'm going to take you where you got to go. So he hit me up yesterday. He said, look, he want me to take him to the lawyer's office this morning. He got to handle some business. I said, no problem. So nine o'clock in the morning, I'm just setting the back story for y'all. So nine o'clock in the morning, I wake up, grab my pops. We go to the lawyer. We there, you know, we, you know, we out all morning. All right, it's mad traffic. We in Long Island. So after we leave the lawyer's office, it's around 1 p.m. Now, I've been trying to shoot the photos for this OnePlus 12 phone for the last couple of days. But in New York City, it's been raining, snowing. It's extra cold. And when I shoot my daytime and nighttime photos, I try to give every phone and every company a fair shot. What do I mean by that? I try to take my daytime photos on a bright, sunny day. Okay, I don't want to take my daytime photos with the OnePlus 12 on a bright sunny day and then take my daytime photos with the Oppo on a cloudy day and it's going to look like, oh, the buildings are kind of gray, outside is a little darker. No, I try to make sure I take all my photos in the same lighting condition, all bright sunny days at nighttime, crystal clear nights. Okay, that's what I try to do. So I've been waiting to take these photos for a while. All right, so now today, I'm like, the phone comes out tomorrow. All right, Tuesday, I want to get this video done today. I want to shoot the daytime photos. Now, it gets dark in New York around 4 o'clock. I don't want to shoot the photos at 3.30 when it's like sunset because it's going to look a little dark outside. So I'm driving my pops from the lawyer's office to the pharmacist at 1 o'clock. We stuck in traffic. So I'm like, all right, so I'm like, listen, when we get to the pharmacy, you, you sit in the car because your hand is kind of swollen. takes you a minute to get in and out of the car. I'm just going to pull up. I'll run inside and grab it for you, you know what I'm saying? Come back and get it, and then I want to hurry up and come back home because that's going to give me a small window to shoot these daytime photos. So we're doing that. Now, I got to give you all a little demo. So it's around, it's around, by the time we get through all this Long Island traffic, it's around 1.45 when I finally get to Queens, take the van with to Rockaway Boulevard. Now, this is where the pharmacy is at, on the left-hand side of the street. This is me. I'm There's two-way traffic. This is This line right here. This is the divider. This car's coming this way. Car's coming this way. Pharmacy on this side. White shoes and some other stores, right? So now I'm driving. I see, I see, okay, car's passing this way. Car's is parked in front of the pharmacy. So now usually I wouldn't make a U-turn like this. Okay, usually I wouldn't drive and make a U-turn like this because the cops be out there on Rockaway Boulevard. I ain't trying to get a ticket. My car's fast and loud. They be looking at me anyway, but I'm in a rush. It's already 1.30, 1.45. I got to go in the pharmacy. I still got to take my pops back home. And I want to be shooting these daytime photos. My window is shrinking. So it's almost 2 o'clock. I, really I really got from like 2 to 3 to shoot some quality daytime photos. So I just said, you know what? The pharmacy is right here. I'm going to make that U-turn. So I'm driving. You know, you can make a U-turn like this. But sometimes 
if there's a lot of stuff, like you see how shoes is blocking me, sometimes you have to go like this, then reverse, and go like this. Sometimes you can't just swing a full U-turn. And it was one of those times. So now I'm going about literally five miles an hour. I'm creeping. I'm like, okay, the last car went in front of me. I start to make my U-turn. Then I'm backing up like this. I'm going mad slow. Keep in mind, I got my 80-year-old pops in the car. I'm not going to be like, Aah! like I would normally do. So I'm going mad slow. As I'm reversing, here comes another car, Aah! like speeding down, speeding down Rockaway, almost hit me in the back. All right, shoes, calm down. Almost hit me in the back. So I'm like, bro, calm down. I'm like, damn. But I'm not even thinking nothing of it. It ain't no big deal for me. Like, it is what it is. So now I, I finish making the U-turn. He's going to swerve over like this, pull up next to me, and roll down the window. Now, when I look over, he rolled down the window. He got the gangster face on, the screw face. Like, he looking at me like, you know, with that, the anger. Now, keep in mind, I, I told y'all, I'm trying to be less of a road rage. I'm trying to be, you know, Mr. De-escalation, Mr. No Ops, No Beef. I don't want no smoke with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm just trying to chill. I'm trying to have steak and lobster on the weekends. I don't, I don't want no beef. But I got my pops in the car. Okay, and at the same time, you know, sometimes when shit happens, you know, you, you even though you think you don't want no drama, you know, if, if it's in your blood, it's in your blood. But keep in mind, I got my pops in the car. You're not gonna clown me in front of my pops. Imagine that, you know, my pops gonna be if, if he rolled down the window, I look over like, sorry, I'm, you know, sir, I'm like, who, yo, who this chump I raised, yo, not, not, nah, nah, yo, nah. So he he rolls down the window. Now keep in mind, my car is tinted out, so you can't see inside the car. So his car, he got the window down. He got his girl in the front seat. Um, you know, um, uh, a heavy set West Indian guy, right? He got the window down. He's staring at me mad hard. Now I'm like, bro. <laughs> You got the right one, cause you. I, I know how to play them, them road rage games too. So I rolled the window down. Of course, I had to switch to the gangster face and I had to take it to the high voice. So I rolled the window down. I'm like, "Fuck you, want to do?" I had to take it to the high voice like that real quick. Like, what the fuck is up, yo? So he he looked at me now. When the window rolled down, he seen me. He probably thought, judging by my car, I was one of these little hot shot, you know, burnout kids that be in the neighborhood that he was getting ready to bark on. But when he seen me. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Hold on a well, let, let, let me show you something real quick. We got we to take it to the photos, all right? All right, hold up. When he see, when, when he see me, all right, you see, you, you know, when you see this, when you roll the window down, okay, you, you ain't going you ain't gonna to have that same energy as you're going to have with a little kid. So when I rolled the window down, I seen his whole energy change, okay? When I was like, yo, what the fuck is up? He was like, uh, what are you doing? So, you know, I had to keep the gangster voice going. Make it a fucking U-turn. What you think I'm doing, man? Mind your fucking business and keep it moving, man. This ain't what you want. I immediately go into my little gangster voice because, you know, I, I said, I, I'm, I, now I'm from New York, bro. You got to have two voices. So I switched to that voice, you know what I'm saying? I, we had a, I, you know, I just gave, I, I didn't I didn't threaten him. I didn't do nothing. I just said, mind your fucking business and keep it moving. That's exactly what I said, yo. Okay? He said, what am I doing? I said, what it look like I'm doing? I'm making a U-turn. Mind your business, yo. Because I'm minding my business. You should be doing the same. Now, I'm thinking that, you know, when you live in New York City, a lot of times the road rage and the rage, it, it, it's not about violence. You just want to get something off your chest. You know, when you're driving and that person is taking forever to cross the street and you almost miss the light and you pull up next to them, yeah, learn how to learn how to walk, you fucking asshole. And they turn around and be like, fuck you. And you're like, fuck you too, bitch. And y'all drive, you know, it ain't always about some big jump out the car with baseball bats and violence. Sometimes somebody cut you off, you pull up next to them. Like, yo, you're a real fucking asshole. And you're like, fuck you. Fuck you, too. Like, it, that, that's what it is. So I'm like, all right, you know, if you want to have a little verbal altercation, I'm with that all day. You know what I'm saying? I'm with that all day. But, but when, when I said what I said, you know what he said to me? He's like, I'm about to report you to the authorities. Now I'm like, yeah, you know, I took a deep breath. Like, ugh, like you know, he kind of took the fun out of the situation. Like, I figured we gonna just call each other assholes and keep it moving. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you to go eat a dick. You gonna tell me to go fuck myself, and we gonna keep it moving. Like, who cares? That's how we do in New York. Ain't no beef. But he's like, I'm gonna report you to the authorities. I was like, I looked at my pops for a quick second. I was like, man, report these nuts, you fucking rat. And I just rolled the window up and kept it moving because, I mean, I'm not going to go back and forth if you are Karen. All right? When I say Karen, I don't mean no colors. I just mean if you're one of these, report you to the authority people. I'm not going to go back and forth with you, bro. Like, you got it. If he would have told me to go fuck myself, I would have had more respect. I would have been like, yeah, fuck you too. And I would have drove off. Like, it is what it is. I'm not jumping out the fight. We just have a verbal wars. He's like, I'm going to report you to the authorities. 
So I literally said, report these nuts. I called him a rat, rolled the window up, I, and I, I immediately went to my parking space. Then he drives off. So I looked at me and my, me and my pops, we actually chuckled. I, when I said report these nuts, I, I heard my pops actually laugh. You know what I'm saying? And it was, it was funny to me that because, you know, I know he's not he's not feeling that great right now. But to see him get a little chuckle like that, that made me feel good. So he had a little chuckle. I jump out. I run in the pharmacy. The pharmacist is like, yo, what's up with your dad? I'm like, yo, you know, his hands is a little, little you know, iffy, but he good, though. He good. I got him in the car right now. She gave me the medication. I get back in the car and I skirt off. I go home. Now I got to show you what's going on. So I go home. Now I get home, it's literally maybe 2.10, 2.10. So I got to my house, I parked the car, and I immediately came outside with the one plus and started doing this, all right? You see, I'm gonna show you right now. I parked the car and I started taking my photos. You see, I walked to the fire department, I did a school, I did a bunch of Zoom tests, you know, I went to the chicken place, the car wash and all that. You know, this, I'm in the store, I'm ordering a sandwich, buying white shoes, some food, you know, doing my thing. Then I get back, I did all of that, and I get back to my house. I'm like, okay, the sun is at a nice level, let me get, let me get some photos, all right? Now I'm taking the photos, if you look closely, there's a cop car right there. Now, I live around the corner from a firehouse. A lot of times the police, they'll go and chill with their friends who work for the fire department or they'll park right there and have lunch. They'll bring food out in and out the firehouse. It, it, it's seeing the cop car in the corner is really nothing. Like you see that all the time. Now, as I'm taking my photos, all right, if you notice, look, there's a cop car right there just chilling. He's just chilling. Now he's been there all this time while I'm taking my photos. He's just right there chilling. So I'm like, I'm not even paying it no mind. I'm, when I took this photo right here, uh, let's get let's get to the last one. All right, so when I did this one right here, I got my back towards them. So all of a sudden, I hear the doors open. You know, you hear the radio, you know, boop, boop, like little radio communication. So I turn around, I see the two cops walking to me. I'm still not thinking nothing of it. They walked up to me and was like, yo, you know whose car these are? Now, he didn't even say, hey, how you doing, sir? You know, he, he came out aggressive. He was like, you know whose car these are? So I was like, nope. You know what I'm saying? Like, meanwhile, I'm not driving. So if I'm in the car, y'all see my how to deal with the police video. If I'm in the car, I got the hands on the steering wheel. How you doing, officer? If you call me a bitch, I'm going to be like, all right, you got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make it home alive. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the traffic stop. But if I'm on foot on my block... Bro, and you coming at me with disrespect, I'm returning that same energy. So he jumped out the car, and meanwhile, two young cops, they're younger than me, talking about, yo, who's, you know whose car these are? So I'm looking around like, no, number one, and number two, who the fuck you think you're talking to like that? That's how you approach me? Like that, you don't like you don't approach me like that. And then I guess he kind of felt bad, like, no, I didn't mean like that, but you know whose car these are? No, no, I don't know. He's like, you live around here? Nope. You got ID? I had to hit him with the We The People University. Uh, he was like, you got ID? I'm like, you got reasonable, articulable suspicion? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll be watching the YouTube videos. I was like, bro. I, now, but all jokes aside, I was like, yo, bro, I don't give out my ID. And I don't answer questions that I don't want to answer. Like, I, I'm barely even talking to you right now, but I don't answer questions. I'm giving you a courtesy. But I don't answer questions, and I don't give out my ID. And they knew that. Okay, they can see that I that I know a little something. And I ain't playing around, and they ain't really gotten to know me. So they're like, all right, cool, you know, yeah, yeah okay. And so they get back in the car, but they watching me. I, I, now when they get back in the car, I'm still trying to take my little photos, but I'm looking at them. They fucking staring at me. They going back and forth on the radio. I'm like, you know what? Let me take my fucking ass in the house. Okay, let me take my ass in the house. Stop trying to be YouTube University tough guy. I'm just going in the house. So I go in the house. Now I get in the house at literally three o'clock. I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna wait like about maybe five, six hours, get up, go to the gym, okay, shoot the rest of my nighttime photos, come down here and shoot this review. Soon as I get in the bed, let me show you what I get. I get this text message right here. Now shout out to my man O Nitty. Alright, let me show you what I get. And I'm a, you can you can see the time for yourself. At 310. I just got in the bed. I get a message from old nitty like, yo, you good. I'm like, what's good, bro? He sent me this. Now, this is a screenshot from Citizen App. Now, I haven't used Citizen App in a while because I hate being depressed knowing how much shit is going down in my neighborhood. But he sent me the Citizen App, and I'm like, all right, let, let me see what it is. 
look at this. It says, okay, police are on the lookout for a middle-aged, heavyset black male with tattoos on the back of his hands, possibly driving a red BMW sedan with New York plates floss. This is the actual Citizens app. The perpetrator stuck his arm out of the car window and fired two rounds into the air at the intersection of 132nd Street and Rockaway Boulevard. That's at the pharmacy. So I'm like, nah. I'm like, nah. Nah. Dude didn't make a fake report. I was like, he, could, he couldn't have done that. So I said, you know what? Let me download my Citizen app and check it again. And sure enough, I you know, I got the full version. I, had the, I heard the police radio transmission, all that. Yo, this dude made a fake police report. He called the police when he said he reported me to the authorities. He called him and told him I shot a gun out the window. So the funny thing, and you know what's even more funny? Let me show you another screenshot. This is what's even more funny, and this is why I love y'all cats, all right? This is what's even more funny. Hold on, I'm going to show you something. Look at this. Where I got it? Where is, where is it? Look at this. All of y'all cats who got the Citizen app, who follow me on Instagram, people are like, yo, I don't know what's happening, but you got to lay low. Yo, this you being a menace. Damn, they looking for you. And I had about 50 alerts on Instagram. People are like, yo, Floss, yo, 12 looking for you. Yo, go home, put the car in the garage. Go lay low. I don't know what you're doing, but yo, I got an alert. Yo, people was actually looking out for me. Like, if I really did something, it's just good to know that a lot of y'all out there who follow me and rock with me like that, y'all was really looking out. Then, you know, right now, I got my, my family group chat. I got my family group chat on mute because you know they be doing a lot of stuff so i said let me, i said let me just take the take it to the group chat i go to the group chat everybody in the group chat like yo you see the citizen alert yo yo uh, they call me uh, yo uh, yo what's good who you who you boomed at my nephew like who you boomed at what's going on yeah I'm, I'm i'm laughing but at the end of the day it's really not a funny situation i'm laughing about it right now and then i went on instagram okay let me show you what i did so hold on let me, let me, let me take it to my instagram all right, so I went on Instagram, you know, because I be like that. I, I like to have fun with y'all, so I posted it on Instagram, and of course I tagged Citizen App, okay, with the fake news, and a lot of people commenting. Go to this Instagram post and read the comments. We having a lot of fun, but you know, <laughs> the moral of this whole story that kind of made me think about it when I was in the gym is like. You know, you, you really got to be careful because these haters right there, they will, they, they, these haters out here will set you up for the kill. And the thing that really kind of stuck in my mind is y'all know me. Y'all know I'm not out here shooting people. Y'all know I'm not out here on some thug life gangster shit. I'm a, I'm a father. I'm a family man. I'm a cat lover. I rock with tech. I do YouTube videos. I'm online all day talking to y'all. But at the end of the day, okay, at the end of the day, to the people that don't know me, the cops or the average stranger, I'm just a heavy set black guy with tattoos driving a red sedan. And you know, that kind of that kind of stuck in my mind for a minute. Like, if you think about that, the people that know you, oh, he's so cool, he's a nice guy, he's a family. But the cops, when they looking at me on the corner, they don't know nothing about that. They looking at me as an armed man who just finished firing shots. They could kill me. You know, and that, that, that's it. that kind of made me think like it's funny situation, but it's really not. It's really not, uh, really not a funny situation. And I advise y'all cats, man. You know, <laughs> I don't even know if there's a full moral to, moral to the story because there ain't really nothing different I could have did. I mean, maybe I could have just you know shut up and not did nothing. But come on. You know, you think I deserve that for just telling somebody to, <laughs> to, to telling somebody to report these nuts? You think it's okay for that person to make that kind of report? Think about it. The SWAT, the SWAT team could have been at my house and all that. Anyway, to resolve the situation, like I was just gonna let it ride. I was gonna let it ride. Then I got this. Right, I'm gonna show you something. I was gonna let it ride. Then I got this. Now you know. Then it started getting out of hand. Somebody else was trolling like man fired two rounds in the air from in a red um, from a red shots fired from a red BMW. OK, with a license plate floss in Brooklyn. So now I'm like, OK, I don't know if people trolling or not. People jumping on the bandwagon. I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and call the cops myself. All right. So check this out. So I called the cops, right? Now, one of the things, shout out to my mom before she passed away. One of her golden rules was don't ever call the cops unless you really have to. Because if you think about it, you call the cops to your house, you're inviting two strangers with guns 
who can legally kill you. So you could be in the right, you could be in the wrong, you could say one word, and you invited them to your house to kill you. So don't ever call the cops unless you really mean it. So I never do that. But I was like, you know what? I can't, I don't know like what's really going on. I don't want to go to the gym. And then while I'm riding around, they got an APB out on me and SWAT team pulling me out, you know, AR-15s pointing at me. I was like, you know, let me just call the cops. So I called the cops. And shout out to these two cops that came to my crib. It was these two young white guys, right? So they pulled up at my crib. I came outside. I'm like, yo, let me tell y'all the story. I'm like, yo, let me give y'all the whole rundown. As I'm telling them the story, when I got to the part and I was like, yo, the guy's like, yo, he's going to report me. I was like, report these nuts. Both of the cops started laughing. Like, you know, like you could tell that they, they looking at me like they not, they not looking at me like I'm that guy. You know what I'm saying? They was like, look, man, that be happening all the time. People be hating, you know, hating on other people and calling and complaining and all that. He was like, I'm going to check in, in, in the, in, you know, see if there's an actual call out and an actual complaint and all that. If so, you're going to have to go to the precinct and give them your side. They'll go to Rockaway Boulevard. They'll pull up the cameras, the detectives, because there's obviously cameras right there. That's a major intersection. Like they'll pull up the cameras. And if the guy actually made a report, then we'll go arrest him for filing a fake report. That's a misdemeanor. I'm like, look, man, I don't even want to press charges and all that. I just want to make sure my name is clear. So he was like, look, man, give me your number. I'm going to go in the car. I'm going to run it through the system and all that. I'll call you and let you know if you need to go to the precinct. I was like, bet. He was a real nice guy, yo. real nice guy. So when I got in the house, I'm getting dressed because I'm like, all right, I'm getting ready to go over to the precinct, but I'm getting prepared because you never know. You go to the precinct, they might try to hit you with the clank clanks. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know. You might go over there thinking you're going to be in and out. You might be in there for a couple of days. You never know. So I'm like, all right, I'm getting mentally prepared. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Taking the shoelaces out of my shoes, getting ready. The phone rang. The cop was like, yo, bro. He was like, we don't even have, we don't even have a report for that. So he was like, they looking at, it's like an anonymous report. They ain't taking it seriously. Nobody else called. Ain't nothing going on. He's like, don't even go to the precinct. Don't waste your time. He was like, I came on the radio and told everybody, don't look for that red BMW. I'm t talking to the guy right now. He's good. Don't worry about it, bro. Go live your life. And I respect those two cops. And I was like, cool, you. <laughs> that, and that, that, that's how the, the, the night ended. I went to the gym. And I took those photos, and now I'm here. Anyway, <laughs> this is just some crazy shit that be happening to me. This is another episode of Story Time with Uncle Floss. Let me know if y'all want me to make this an individual series because I, I got a lot of crazy stories and I got a lot of yeah, a lot of shit be happening to me. But if not, I'll just shut the fuck up and stick to doing what I do: phone reviews. But anyway. I'll see y'all on the next review. I think what's coming up next. I think my next full review will be the Oppo. Because the Oppo, let me show you something. You know, usually, uh, I think I got it somewhere. Hold up, let me see. Yeah, usually, when it comes to these big phones, I like to have a retail version. So I got a review unit, and I already got a retail version, so I can fully give my opinion. So this is going to be my next full review. Then January 31st, when I get the Galaxy, we're going to get into that too.